I've been using macOS for just over one year now and I realized that there are a lot of things a new user would never know how to do without googling or just being lucky and accidentally hitting a few special keys at the same time. For example, a thing that I just recently discovered is that if you hard press on an app's icon in the dock, it'll show you all the windows that are open of that app. Whereas before, if I clicked on the icon, it would bring up only one window, and if I clicked again, nothing would happen. Now if I hard press, there it is, my favorite song. Now if you explore a little, and come up to your desktop, right click on a picture of Kratos and go quick actions, you can remove the background completely, which is of course a very neat party trick. Now if we get rid of him and click option plus brightness, it'll bring up the display settings where you can quickly change your display scaling and other settings. Now if you have a few finder windows open like this, you can quickly switch between them with command and tilde. What you can also do is if you go to window and merge all windows, you can switch between your finder tabs with control tab. Pretty cool. Now that's not really useful, but what is useful is if you go to your Chrome browser, highlight any link and then drag it to your desktop. It'll create a shortcut here. Then you can find and download an icon, apply it to the shortcut. And now if you place the shortcut over in your dock and click on it, YouTube will open up in your browser just like that. But what happens if your desktop gets a little crowded with a few browser windows? Well, in that case, you can click control and then down arrow to see all the windows that you have open. This is different from mission control because mission control will also show other apps and it's different from command tab, which just shows Safari and none of its windows. Now, if you're coming from the world of windows and you use the little delete key to delete words backwards, well you can do the same on Mac if you press function backspace. As you can see, it's now deleting from the other end. I've never used this feature, but maybe to someone out there this might seem useful. Now if you happen to have a bunch of pictures on your desktop and you want to quick look all of them at once, you'll notice that if you press spacebar on one of them and try to Anyway, you can now quick look one image and then press your arrow keys to move through the other images. Very cool. However, if your folders are in this list view here, it's impossible to do. Because if you press spacebar and try to move through the images with your arrow keys, you'll notice that nothing's happening. To fix this, hold shift, select the last image, press spacebar, and now you can switch between them. Now, if you're tired of YouTube autoplaying things, things on your Safari, you can go to Safari, settings for YouTube, and then under autoplay, you can select to never autoplay. Now whenever you open a video in a new tab, it will automatically pause and not play. Just like this. So we're back with the same image situation on the desktop and let's see what happens if I highlight all of them and press command plus I. You'll notice that the info panel opens up for every single image, but what if I want to check how much space all of them take up collectively? Well, I can highlight all of them and press control command I, it will bring up a single info menu which will display how much space all of them take up collectively. Beautiful. And speaking of space, the next tip has nothing to do with it. If you press command shift A in your browser, you'll be able to quickly search through your open tabs. Now in Finder, if you click command 1 or 2, it will toggle between the list view and the thumbnail view, which is very useful if you have a folder in this icon view by default, you'll notice that you can't hold shift and select multiple items at the same time, which is absolutely stupid. So you have to switch to the list view with command plus two, and then you can hold shift to highlight multiple items. In the thumbnail view, you can also right click and select clean up to clean up your 
files. Now, if you have a folder and then many other folders within this father folder, you can hold option and click on the arrow to expand this folder, which will expand all the other folders within that folder. Now, if you've navigated somewhere deep inside a folder and you have no idea where you are, you can click command and open bracket to go backwards or command plus closed bracket to go forwards, which can also be done with these arrows here. So this tip is pretty useless. Now, when you have a drive connected, instead of right clicking and then pressing eject, which is so counterproductive, you can click on it and press control E to eject quicker. Now, when you press command shift four, you can take a screenshot, then right click on this banner here and save it to your clipboard, which will not save it to your desktop. Now, if you open a chat with someone or a pages document, if you don't have any friends, you can immediately paste the screenshot and not have to delete it from your desktop. Alternatively, you can do the same when taking the screenshot if you hold the control key. Now, the screenshot has immediately been copied to my clipboard and I can paste it in here. Now, if you're an Apple Notes user like myself, you can open a note, write something, then highlight text and press Command plus K to insert a link. If we hit OK and then click here, it'll open the link in your browser. Very nice. I hope this was helpful to someone out there and I'll see you in the next one.